I guess, different uh, with you and, and your career these past couple of years. Um, you, you mentioned before the concussions and, and I guess the, the issues that you had um, staying healthy and, and stuff like that. And um, is there any idea, like, like, are you able to even put a ballpark on, on how many you had, if it was either in Philly or just your career in general? I know there's like seven or eight like official ones, some five, six, the kind of okay ones. I don't like know. like Every documented official. Speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you have those hits when you just don't say anything. That's how that's how it is. Like that's how it was, and maybe it's not like that anymore. And I recommend to the guys to not do it the same way. But like I said, I played every game. We were fucking worse. Me, Simmer, G, we, no matter what was wrong, we fucking did anything we could to line up, to be in the lineup and play the game, no matter how hurt we were. So, you know, obviously the biggest one I had was from Ronaldo. I was, that was, that was a tough one. Yeah. Right? That was, I was, and I was out for only a week. Like it should have been longer, but I was out for a week. I came back. I had a one and one against Jersey. First game back a week later. But the first half of the game, it wasn't all right. Like, I just didn't feel okay. And uh, and uh, it's something that, obviously, at the time, you don't think about. But, you know, at the end of the career, you reflect. You're like, yeah, I probably fucked that one up. But uh, then I had a pretty bad one in 2017. It wasn't documented because it just, you know, I did, like, the same thing. I wanted to play. So I got hit. In Europe, you got to understand the glass with the boards. They were like a wall. It wasn't moving. They weren't soft. It was like a wall. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and I was standing against the against the. I was looking for the puck in my and blow my feet. And Osala from Finland, he's like a six five two forty guy, like one of the biggest. He just came and just hit me with my head down, and I hit it in the back of my head. I remember Peter Mrazek telling me that, "Fuck!" I looked at you, and your fucking eyes rolled up, right? And then I just I was out of it, and I skated to the bench. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know where I was. What was I doing there? I tried the next shift. I was like a chicken without the head, just skating around. I didn't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta come off. So, I, so this I was, was Worlds? Off. It was 2017. Mm-hmm. It was a bad one. And, uh, I'm not sure if I had one. I don't, I, I, I think, I think I was pretty okay. I can when Kulikov hit me. I wanted to play the Buffalo game. I wasn't having it to my flu. My helmet flew off. And everything, but I handled that one pretty good. And uh, I didn't have those little ones. I know I had one in the bubble. You know, you had one in the bubble too. In a, in, a, in a round robin, yeah, I missed the one game there too. And uh, and then after every single kind of every single contact, not even in my head, was was kind of like weird feeling when my you know even in the practice it happened to me in Finland with Columbus. Now I collide with uh, Gabrikov in the practice. I skated, my head was spinning. Then I got high sticked against Colorado, and the next morning I woke up and and I felt like shit. I was like, "Listen, guys, it's just I don't want to, I don't want to end up like some other athletes, you know yeah. that what they go through and it just, uh, it just right. so right because there's so more than that. I mean, again, like you know, you have young kids and all that too. That that's obviously all that's part of the decision too. I think I think that's why when we go by, I think that's why the coaches and. Uh, in some kind of way, they said they like me as a person. I'm sure. Yeah. But they always knew there was always more out of me, and I agree with them. You know, I always I was like I agree. Fuck, did I give it eighty percent? Probably, but I give it hundred, hundred percent. But I would miss everything around that oh, friendship, the fun, and I never get stuck on when I didn't play well. Well. I never got stuck on that. I always was positive that I was always like this, which my dad teached me when I was like, since I was a kid, that it's always going to get better, but it's going to get worse when you are right here. So I was always trying to keep it like this. And uh, there's so much more to it. The relationships, the the fun, the, the everything else around it, I just enjoyed it as well. And uh, I understand it from some kind of standpoint that some coaches might have took it in the wrong way. Right, but I always perform, and I always left everything on the ice, no matter yeah. what I did. 